hunters living in the dense understory of the jungle. what is a plant and what is a prey. <laughs> this week we learned about toucan and that they live in the tropical rainforest. The tropical rainforest is one of the biomes. We had a lot of fun. We had an assignment to do to draw our own toucan. But I decided to make mine 3D instead. It turned out pretty cool. Oh, and one more thing. The toucan's beak has little tubes of air inside to make it lighter, so it's not as heavy as it looks. Pretty cool, right? People often ask me how I decide what I want them to know. I want them to know about the world around them. I want them to care about nature that surrounds them. I want them to pay attention to the signs and wonder, how can I help? Um, planning is one of my very favorite things to do for homeschool. I think that is true for a lot of us. But for me, it's really a time where I get to dive in and research and um, record all of my questions that I have. And then that is kind of like where I start. It was a good week, right? And we learned about the Amazon rainforest. Did you know the destruction of the Amazon rainforest, for lumber, mining, and farmland could wipe out half the world's animal species? At the current rate of destruction, no forest at all will be left by 2035. McCall the largest of the South American parrots. The tuck's beak is so strong that it's the only bird that is able to crack a Brazil nut. The three-toed sloth sleeps by day and eats leaves by night. The sloth is slow moving and may live in, in the same th tree for years. Did you know the destruction of the Amazon rainforest for lumber, mining, and farmland could wipe out half of the world's animal species at the current rate of destruction? No forest at all will be left by 2035. We better hurry. Okay, so we had a good week. It has been a short week. Um, we started a new unit study, what I like to call a compassion unit. It's basically like a unit study where our main focus is to elicit a compassionate response um, from the kids. We can be very disconnected from things around the world. So I like to throw in compassion units so that we can just really focus in on what is going on around us. We decided to um, explore more about the Amazon and the current events in the Amazon rainforest with the fires. It's been fun so far, listening to their thoughts and their feelings. We started off by having what we like to call a watch party. So it's kind of like a sports watch party. We have this long list, this playlist of um, different movies and videos that are covering the topic that we are uh, studying. Watch party is like a thing like when you're on the couch, and then we watched documentaries about the um, rainforest. And I hear the cicadas! <laughs> Don't you hear them, guys? I plan very loosely in order to give us plenty of room to take it slow. Jungles have just the right amount of light, water, and nutrients. And they have had every day for millennia. A slow pace is very important to me, to make sure we're not hurried or rushed. I try my best to encourage them to write their questions down, whatever comes to their mind while they're watching, the things that they're wondering about. There's no such thing as a silly question. There's no such thing as too many. I learned that we have discovered a new species, river dog. Ah, oh, the river dolphins. Yeah. Can you believe that? Dolphins in the middle of the forest? Ready? Uh -uh. 
I don't know, it was interesting. It was interesting to see dolphins like swimming in the Amazon forest. We can go in the Amazon forest and see what we can see, like dolphins if it floods the lake. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be going in the Amazon, but... You'll come in with me. <laughs> animals that we saw in the rainforest? The spider monkey. We did. What else did we see? The river dolphin. We did. We saw river dolphins. And we also saw those gorillas. There was no gorilla in the Amazon, girl. Oh my goodness. There was a macaw. There's a toucan that is that lives in the Amazon. Kendall, what's another animal that we learned about in the Amazon? Tapers. Oh yeah. What do you know about the taper, bud? Um, they go in mud. They might disappear forever, and they eat plants. My favorite part about planning unit studies is paying attention. Just paying attention to things that are going on around us. and Planning with purpose and creating a connection between creator and consumer <laughs> that I often feel we have lost. Look, look, see that ramp back there? See that little hill back there? There's a ramp. I guess I feel like that's how I can help by teaching my children about the world around me. To pay attention, to care for it, to learn about it, to study it, to explore and discover. Y'all know all those things I love. So yeah, another week done. Thanks for watching.